Hello guys and welcome back to Leicester Fan TV for another career mode, another FIFA 21 Leicester City career mode. This is episode two. Uh, in the first episode we did play, we had our first two games of the season. Um, we beat Tottenham Hotspur, we played that game away at Tottenham and we won 3-2. That was coming back from 2-0 down, so a brilliant result there. And in the second game we did simulate that and we beat Sheffield United 3-1, also coming from behind. So a good start, as you can see, 6 points from 6, 6 goals scored, 3 conceded, not a bad record whatsoever. Uh, in this episode we will have Chelsea at home, which will be another big game. Um, but before we get into that, before we get into any games, uh, just going back to the board expectations, which they did um, set us at the start of the season. And that was on the brand exposure one, signed two players of the same nationality as the club. Now, I am only going to go for one because what, the other one, the second one I can try and do in January. Um, because Nick Moore, uh, as you'll see in the comment here... Nick did recommend the, uh, two players for us to sign. They recommended Bellingham, uh, their centre midfielder for Borussia Dortmund, and they also recommended Dean Henderson as Kasper Schmeichel's long-term replacement. Now, Jude Bellingham, unfortunately, has only signed, was just recently signed for Dortmund. So, as you're about to see, I can't make an offer. I can't even ask for a loan. So, that's not possible. In January, it may be possible. Six months after being there, we might be able to sign him. However, Dean Henderson is one that Nick did mention and I'm going to see if it's possible to sign him because obviously he's a good young keeper Schmeichel you know he's still got a year or two left at Leicester I think at the top level um, but Dean Henderson would be a good player to have to come in when we need him and also later on when Schmeichel does leave so uh, he has got a release clause of 68.2 million quid so it's going to be difficult to get that um, we don't want to we don't want to meet the release clause because that's a bit too much I think at the minute because I think he is only in the mid to late 70s, uh, I believe, the overall. So we're going to try and approach him without paying the release clause. And we're going to see what we can offer to try and tempt Man United to sell him to us. But let's see what we can do here. Um, could we offer a swap deal? Now, we don't really want to get rid of Kasper just yet. He's 84 rated. He's still got you know, a little bit of time before he starts uh, declining in rating i don't think man united are going to be interested in danny ward or eldin yakupovic uh and i don't think there is anyone really else we could offer in a swap deal here we could potentially look at perez but i don't think i think i want to keep him for squad depth so we will go straight in let's let's go with slomani he's not in the play actually no i'll tell you what we'll do we will offer to Mari Gray because he is not in my plans this year. So it's six and a half million. You think that's six and a half million less in cash we need to offer. So to Mari Gray and let's his his release clause was sixty five million. So let's offer a fee to start off with thirty million pounds for Dean Henderson plus to Mari Gray. So Manchester United have refused that offer. They don't want Damari Gray um, and they would like 54.5 million, which would just wipe out our transfer budget, which I'm not too happy about. I'm going to counter this and I'm going to propose a new offer of 40 million. So 14 million less than what they want. And they're, they're sticking on 54 and a half million. Let's go for one more push here. 43.5 million. I've been a little bit tight, but we'll go with that. Manchester United have come down to 51. So the last offer I'm going to put in is... I'm going to go with 45.5 million. And that is the final offer I will put in. And there we go. Man United have come down a lot. And they said that is a reasonable offer. So we're going to get straight into the um, the negotiations for his contract, which we'll just get into now. Uh, they've offered us, they, they've said that he wants 45,000 and a signer bonus of just under half a million. Um, look, 23 year old, you know, he's going to be with us for years and years and years. So we will accept that. And Dean Henderson is now a Leicester City player. Uh, let's just bring. Um, Dean Henderson 
so he is 80 rated which really that's that is brilliant for a 23 year old he's only going to grow um let's just see how his stats do compare to casper's it'll be interesting to see um so Schmeichel's got better diving, Dean Henderson's got better handling, and then Schmeichel's got better everything else. So yeah, that, that's about right, because obviously Casper is a lot more experienced. So yeah, um, obviously Dean Henderson will not be our main goalkeeper just yet. Um, will we bring him to the bench? It's a bit difficult because we've got some outfield players on there. I don't think we need Fuchs on the bench just yet, because um, obviously we have Justin. So there's Dean Henderson. Um, do we play him? No, we won't play him yet. We'll play him in the next cup game. We could even play Dean Henderson in the Europa League games. But let me know in the comments if you think we should play Casper in the league and Dean Henderson in the Europa League or the other way around. Let me know. So we aren't able to sign Bellingham, uh, obviously, in this episode and not until January, most likely. But we will scout him. I did forget to do that earlier. We will scout him so we know where he's at um, with you know progress in his career uh, in um, January and obviously we can then decide if we're going to buy him or not so we are now scouting Jude Bellingham and we'll see how uh, how he is in Jan so guys we're just about to start the Manchester United away game at Old Trafford the first game of this episode and uh, Nick here has also said put Unda in instead of Perez now I didn't think Perez did that badly uh, in the first episode but Obviously, Under is a better player and he's got the pace about him. And he did score in the Sim game. When we brought him on, he did score. So, we are going to go with Under. Uh, he's got... Uh, I mean, he's, he's not the fastest on here, apparently. He is in real life. But, um, but yeah, he is going to be a bit more... Offer, offer a bit more on that right side. And he's obviously got his left foot. So, uh, we will play him in this game against Manchester United. I am tempted to play Henderson here uh, instead of Schmeichel. Shall we do it? Yeah, let, let's give Henderson his debut. Um, Schmeichel is still our main goalkeeper, but just against his old club, Henderson will play. See if he can keep a clean sheet against them. Fingers crossed. So, guys, we've had a message from Dennis Pratt. He is saying to us that he's been playing pretty well lately, which he has done once I've brought him on. He's feeling good, um, and he hopes that means I won't. he won't just be on the bench for the game against Manchester United. This is difficult because we've got Madison, we've got Tillemans in midfield. We could potentially rest Tillemans because we do have Chelsea in just a few days. Um, what we will do is, I will say, I'll think about it. That's the current lineup now with Under and Henderson in there. Let's add in Dennis Pratt. Just for this game, um, obviously Tillemans is our main you know, central midfielder over Pratt. But Pratt has you know, impressed when he's come on. So we will play him for this game and Tillemans obviously will then have, um, you know, no fatigue for the Chelsea game. And uh, and here's our team. Henderson in goal, of course. Pereira, Evans, Suyun, Castagna, Pratt, Ndidi and Madison in midfield. And then a front three of Under, Vardy and Barnes. So uh, we have Schmeichel on the bench, Iheanacho, Perez, Tillemans, Fafana, Mendy. So, yeah, here it is. Game at Old Trafford. Let's get right into it. Indeed, he's got it. He can spray it to Wunder. Now Pratt's driving forward. He sees Madison making a run. Now Pratt's got it back again. What can Pratt do with it early on? Oh, it's a goal! Dennis Pratt! Ten minutes in. What a start. He asked to play in this game over Tillemans. And I've put him in. Look, once again, I'm the special one. I, must, I think I'm a special one. Honestly, what a great goal that is so early on. They're the boys celebrating together. It's a good win. It's a good goal away from home at Old Trafford. And it's another good goal from Leicester. What a start to the season we're having. Another good tackle from Soyuncu. Soyuncu's having a good game early on. Pogba's trying to work it into the box here. We need to try and defend this, we do. Oh, no, Fernandez has still got it. Soyunchi wins it again. Great tackle. And now we'll clear it to Under. This could be a great break, this could. It's a bit of a heavy touch there from Under. He tries to take it past Maguire. But the fridge stops Under in his tracks. Ooh, it's a bad tackle from Johnny Evans. He's going to get pulled back for a yellow card, you'd imagine. Oh, it's a good ball back. Oh, Wambasaka's got it on the bo in the box here. Keep him quiet, Castagna. Oh, Cavani turns him. Oh, it's a good save by Dean Henderson against his former club. Now Leicester on another break here. Madison, 
He sees Vardy. I think it's onside. It is. Vardy's got the pace to beat McTominay here. He's going to cut inside. He's going to take a shot. Oh, what a goal that is. What a goal that is. And there's the mannequin challenge again. Leicester hitting Man United on the break for the second time in this game and scoring for the second time in this game. What a goal that is. Vardy with a lovely cut inside here, as you're about to see. Sells the defender and he puts it in the top right corner. What a start to this game we are having. On the counter-attack, Man United have got back into it. They've had chances, but we've hit them on the break. Just what we're best at. That's Leicester 2, Manchester United 0. Inside, what, 20 minutes, I believe? 20 minutes? 30 minutes. The 30th minute. And that's three goals for Jamie Vardy so far this season. Oh, no. Now Man United are on the attack. Bruno Fernandes is a quality player. What can he do? Oh, oh, another good save from Dean Henderson. He's been magnificent. Oh, bit of a bad tackle there from Ndidi. Now Man United are on the attack again. They're putting us under pressure here. Henderson punching it away. Madison, under, Pratt, back to Madison. What can Madison do with it? To under. What can under do with it? Oh, he tries to meg Alex Tellez, but can't quite get it through his leg. That was like a hot point fridge. That was, it was a hot point fridge over the bar. Um, but yeah, we lead 2-0 at half time. It is half time. We lead 2-0. Pratt with the goal in the 10th minute, in the 9th minute, sorry. Vardy with one, exactly 20 minutes later. Um, good start, very good start. So, guys, we haven't made any changes at half-time. We are kicking off in this half. Um, yeah, no changes so far, just like in the first game against Tottenham. Uh, I have faith in the boys that are currently on the pitch. We might need to make some changes later on because Johnny Evans is on a yellow card. We could see Fafana again, but for now, we are sticking with the lads. Cavani with it here. Back to James. Oh no. Man United have got an early goal in this second half. They peg back our lead to 2-1. Um, he's been good this half, Daniel James. In the first half, sorry. He was very good. He, hit, he had some shots on target. He had that good volley that went wide because of a deflection. And now he scores. Um, big fan of Daniel James. He's got a lot of pace. So... Yeah, disappointing start to the second half, but hopefully we can stay in it. Let's just uh, not do anything stupid here. There's a run from Perez. Is that onside? I think it will be. Perez is going to cut inside. Madison's got it. Under. Ooh, just off the chest of Tellez. Come on, lads. Last minute free, last minute corner here. Vardy. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Indeed, he will hit that. He's still got it in DD. He's still got it. Him against Fridge Maguire. Under. Oh! What, a, what an end to the game this is. Two good chances from Leicester. A good header here from Under. Good save from De Gea. We're going to have one more corner. We will play it short. Perez will come to it. This should be it. This should be the end of the game. We'll get it out on the edge of the box of Under. Under will just dribble around with it. Here's Ndidi, spread it out to Perez, get a ball in, Tillemans! It's a goal! Late on in the game, the 90th minute, Yuri Tillemans, the substitute with the goal, another substitute goal in this career mode series. And we extend our lead back to two goals. It's Leicester 3, Manchester United 1, and this will be 9 points from 9 in this career mode. Good crossing from Perez. Good header from Tillemans. 3-1. And as I said, guys, we are going to get Harvey Barnes on a development plan here just to improve his pace a little bit because in real life, he's got, you know, he's got a decent amount of pace. He has here. He's got a decent amount of pace. 82 sprint speed, 85 acceleration. But we do want to just boost up a little bit. Um, so we will. Let's have a look what else we can improve. Um, we will improve his finishing as well. So we will put him on a inverted winger plan, which is what I kind of play anyway. Um, getting him to kind of cut, you know, cut inside and get a shot on goal or a pass through to Vardy. So, yeah, we will go with the inverted winger and that should take four weeks. So um, 
yeah, it, it's that you know that should work well. That should improve his his attributes. And um, I mean, look, he is in my plans. He is going to be my left winger, my main left winger going forwards. So let's get him on that. We have had a transfer offer for Cengiz Under. I don't know how it works because I did think that he was um, with us on loan, which he is in real life. He's with us on loan uh, with an option to buy. But on this game, for some reason, he is uh, classed as you know signed for us full time. Um, it's Villarreal. They've offered 40, uh, sorry, 24.8 million. As you can see, he's got a release clause of 43. Um, no one's going to pay that 48, 43 million just yet. So we are going to reject it. Um, and then we may offer him a contract, a new contract later down the line to increase that release clause. But for now, of course, he will be staying a Leicester player um, well past this window, you know, probably next past the next window as well. Um, and we'll see what we can do with his development. So, guys, we are coming up to our last game of the episode now against Chelsea, which will be at home. It will be a simmed game. Remember, I am at the minute playing one and simming one. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like me to play every game or if you would like me to sim every game or if you'd like me to play two and sim one or play three and sim one. It's completely up to you. Um, you let me know in the comments and we will do that. But for this game, we will be just changing up a little bit. I'll be doing what I said I was going to do and we are going to play... Tillemans and Pratt together in a midfield. Um, so we have the Belgian trio on the pitch at the same time. We have Pratt, Tillemans and Castagna. We're going to go with this. Obviously, Tillemans plays a little bit further back than Madison. So we're going to see how we get on with this setup today in the Sind game against Chelsea. And we will, of course, just put Schmeichel back in there for this game. Um, 84 rated. So let's get him in. And I think that is a very strong squad. Um, it's the same, really. It's the same strength squad as what we were playing against Man United because Tillemans and Madison are, uh, are very similar in quality. So we will play this against Chelsea. So we have kicked this game off. We are playing in the blue, the blue counters. Chelsea are the white. Uh, we are just playing it around nicely here. Under with it on the right wing, gets the ball in for Vardy. Is he going to win it back? Yep, Ricardo's got it here. Back to Vardy and Chelsea win it back. And we've won it again. We've won it again. Under to, to Ndidi, to Vardy, to Barnes, Tillemans. Under, get in. Cheng is under on that right hand side with another goal. That is his third goal this season already. Uh, one in this sim, one in the last sim, and also one in the last game as well against Man United. That's a good start to the season for him, and it's a good start to this game. We're one up against Chelsea in a simmed game where I can't even control it. And it's half time, half time in this simmed game. One goal from Chengiz under in the 24th minute. Fingers crossed we can see this game out. Um, we may make a change. Let's just check out the stamina. Yeah, it looks okay. Um, we may. Bring on Madison for Tillemans. Yeah, we now we'll bring on Madison for Pratt. Rest him a little bit. We'll get Madison forward, of course, and we will run with this in the second half. Oh, they win it back. Now they will counter Chelsea. Pulisic with it here. I'm sure he'll try and get a ball into the box. Chilwell. Pulisic in the ball. Oh, and it's into Havertz. And Chelsea equalise in the 62nd minute. That's 1-1, one, one. And, uh, and now we are level. And a throw in 65 minutes in so far, it's 1-1. One, one. Will either team make the breakthrough and get the winner in this game? They are getting a bit back in, but Vardy's through. What will Vardy do? And he scores! Jamie Vardy, he scores again. 69th minute, and yeah, we're 2-1 up. It's another good performance from all of the lads, really. Um, Chelsea came back, they equalised, and now we are 2-1 up. Can we keep this game? It's one back there. Castagna can't quite get it to Madison. Chelsea will attack again here. It's Havertz. Defend it, defend it. Havertz has another shot, and it's saved by Casper. Come on, lads. Come on, keep it out. Havertz has got it again here. Ah, oh, and he scores. That's his second game goal of this of the uh, of the game. It's 2-2 in the 87th minute. Will either side get one more chance here to put themselves ahead and get the three points? Justin, Madison, Mendy, Tillemans, Vardy. 
Madison. Oh, and he loses it. And it's full time. It's 2 2 against Chelsea. I don't think that's a bad result considering it's a simmed game and I couldn't have any input apart from the, the team management. Um, but that's 2 2. We find ourselves towards the end of the episode number two. Episode number two already. Um, let me know in the comments if you are enjoying the career mode series and drop us a like and subscribe, of course, as well. Uh, and if you hit the little bell notification above the subscribe button, then you will be notified every time a new episode of the career mode, as well as, you know, all the other Leicester content that we do uh, is uploaded or we go live. So to finish off the episode, let's take a look at the Premier League table. We have played four games. We've won three and we have drawn one, which isn't a bad start whatsoever. Um, we have scored 11 goals, conceded six and uh, 10 points. We are level at the top with Manchester City. Liverpool just behind us. They'll be chasing us down, I'm sure, as well as uh, you know the likes of Spurs, Man United, Arsenal. So, uh, and, and as you can see, uh, just at the top there of the scores and fixtures, we've got Arsenal next. We had Tottenham, then we had uh, Sheffield United, then we had Manchester United, then we had Chelsea, and then we've got Arsenal next. So a lot of hard fixtures, a lot of tough fixtures coming in uh, to us um, thick and fast. That means we should have some easier ones after this. Um, but look, it's not a bad start to the season whatsoever. And as you can see, just as we sim this training session, we are on transfer deadline day. Now, this comes at a good time because you guys can let me know in the comments who, who we should sign. The board wants us to sign two English players uh, this season. We've signed one in Dean Henderson. We have a little bit of cash left. Um, we have 1.6 million, but if we lower down the wage budget a little bit, that should add more on. So we would only need about 100 grand, you'd think, max there. So we have 20 million, 20 million quid in the bank. So can you think of any young English talent we could sign? Bellingham, we could just get in January. We could wait until January or we could sign someone now. We've got 10 hours left of the transfer deadline day. So let me know in the comments below. But as always, thanks for watching. Um, drop us a like, drop us a, uh, a comment as well. And we will see you next time on the Leicester City career mode for FIFA 21. Come on, you foxes. Oh, <laughs>